Lots and lots and lots. That's the reason why it's called the McDonald's. They are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So Impala, see, Impala is one of the animals that we don't stop for like now and then because it's everywhere. Yeah, you know? It's just like when you drive home. When, just like when you drive home, when you see the McDonald's, you don't stop for each and every little one of them. Yeah, you see them. So that's a male Impala. It's easy to see male from female. Males have got horns and females don't. So another good question could be how is it that he's alone over there? It's because males uh, compete a lot for dominance, né? So he could have got kicked out by a stronger male in the group of oh, Impalas. poor man. <laughs> he'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, he'll bounce back, eh? Yeah, so usually, yeah, he'll, he'll match, you know, make a bachelor band or a bachelor group with the other males that are going through the same stage as he does, né? So until he feels confident enough to go challenge that male that kicked him out, then he's gonna, the others will wish him well and then he's gonna go there to challenge him as well. But usually the breeding season is like um, at its peak in, uh, in May. That's when the males fight for dominance. And then um, any of them that's stronger, they would have won over the, uh, the rest of the other males is the one that, that breeds. And then with Impalas, you find two groups. You find the bachelor group and the breeding head. So the breeding head is usually a big group. There's one dominant male who kicks out like the rest of the other males that wants to steal one of his 40 females. So that one male that's strong, he's married to up to 40 females. Okay. Yeah, he's managing, he's, he's, he's strong, man. Right? <laughs> that's why he's, he's managing. <laughs> I mean, the, the other males should just gang up on him and beat him down and take all his women. No, he's strong, man. <laughs> he, he can't fight over, if, if, he does, if, if about 10 of them approach him, some of them, you know, some of them is his friends. He probably gives them bribe, you know. So <laughs> if the others try to gang up against him, is the, the others tell the the, the the few others that no, that's he's, he's our friend. Yeah. Now he's strategizing and eating healthy and exercising. Like I say, he's very likely to gonna win him over when he goes back um to challenge him. Because of, you know, he doesn't stress out a lot. He's eating healthy, he's sitting there, it's peaceful and everything. I mean, he looked like a sitting duck, like a lion about to snatch him up. <laughs> That's right. They, they are vulnerable when he's alone there. He's very likely to can get to can get killed because he has to check in 360 degrees every time if it's safe. You know, if there are many, at least they face different directions. Then it's like a bit of a teamwork. Yeah. And then, yeah, usually they are safe in that way. But when he's alone, it's not really advisable. Yeah. So, but um, I'm hoping he'll be fine, eh? Yeah, he'll manage. And then we'll leave him for now, eh? But impalas are one of our most common animals. We'll still see them a lot. Okay. Like we said, um, they don't bite. Um, let's leave him for now. Um, sometimes when we give other impalas a skip, it will not be that we'll be ignoring them. I've decided to stop for this one because it is our first impala today. So even when we see other impalas that we give them a skip, um, it wouldn't be like we'll be knowing that uh, impala doesn't bite. We'll, we'll find it. Yeah, everybody's okay. Okay, that's a bird. that's a great go away bird. You know? No, what kind of drop is it in front of us? I'm curious. Oh no, it's good. Okay, it's good. It's cow. And yeah. horse. Let me get a little bit closer. This looks like, it's like giraffe. Giraffe business. Okay. Yeah, no, elephant it business. Be, it can't be an elephant. Uh, okay. you're, you're gonna take a sample. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a sample. No, no. <laughs> Is it really? Mm. Oh, you okay. for real? I thought he was joking. No, yeah. no, this is an this is a, this is an elephant. Eh? Let's see. Mm. Yeah. Just a moment. You see, this looks like that of a. Yeah, because of in the dam. Don't worry, I got some wipes, man. Cause you know. You, oh no, no. This is this is this is just grass. You know? <laughs> So you see, you still pick up on sticks of trees, but it could have been a juvenile, a baby one. Eh? You still pick up on sticks of trees, um, grasses, and like elephants are mixed feeders. They feed on different species of trees and grasses at the same time. So that's why in a dung of an elephant, it only digests 40% of what it eats. So when it drops the dung, it still comes out as in the vegetation when it ingests it. Oh, so that's why you knew from up front. Yeah, so that's why again, we're able to pick them up with their hands. They're not finely digested. Mm -hmm. So elephant dung folks, 
you could have it at home as a as an insect repellent or you can you know ban it in a house when you get a smell like a, a scent of that it could remind you because it combines like different trees and uh, different trees and grasses in one and when you burn it you get the smelling like sensation of like the, the bush you know and then you get a memory of when you were in africa so i give you a present of the elephant that when you go. Yeah. So it's like fertilizers right yeah you can even use it for the <laughs> do you want do you want to wipe you on some water wash your hands off no i'll be fine you know elephant dung you could even drink it yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could even eat it <laughs> Yes, get the Soweto hat. I'm just trying to see the hat. That's where we were, family, yesterday. Now we're in Planetsburg. So that's how we do, family. We on the move. <laughs> 